<clears throat> Some of my crew have been dealing with what might best be described as a heightened case of cabin fever. I think it's got something to do with the close proximity of the island. Why don't you turn around then? I've tried, but we have a saboteur on board, and he's done one hell of a job on my engines. I've got my crew working around the clock to repair them. And then you'll take our people home? Then we move to safer waters. Those are my orders. And I don't suppose you'll tell us who gave you those orders. Sure I will. Charles Whitmore. This is Charles Whitmore's book. That's right, you know him. Penny's dad. Oh, 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 yeah. No, I get finally, it. Finally clicking for you? Yeah. This black box comes from Oceanic Flight 815. Whoa. It was found with the wreckage of the plane along with all 324 dead passengers. The wreckage was obviously staged. Now, can you imagine what kind of resources and manpower go into pulling off a feat of that magnitude? Where exactly does one come across 324 dead bodies? And that, Mr. Girard, Mr. Hugh, is just one of the many reasons we want Benjamin Linus. Oh. Oh. Interesting. They're the good guys. I'm sorry. doesn't want them to believe it more. The so what you think of the captain? It was surprising they're forthcoming. Oh. Oh. That shouldn't still be there. Damn it. Hey, Johnson, is that you? Johnson? Yeah. Mop this up. Sorry, I gotta go up on deck. No, you're gonna mop this up. <gasps> Kevin, this is, uh... Said. That's one. What? Kevin Johnson. What? What? Nice to meet you, Kevin. Ooh. Ah! How come Kevin <laughs> looks exactly like Mike? <laughs> oh my gosh, Kevin. And where's Walt? Oh my gosh. And they all played it Kevin. so cool. is a class act, let me tell ya.
Thanks, Al. Okay. This the baby. Mine. 네, 준수 씨. 하늘에만 이제 거 당신 아이 맞아요. 정말이에요. 자기 너무 사랑해. 나도 사랑해. 난 당신 뭐 절대 헤어지지 않을 거야. 사업도 시작하겠다는 백 회장님의 뜻이 담겨 있습니다. 부디 오늘 같은 기쁜 날이 선물 받아주시면 감사하겠습니다. 회장님에게 정해 주게. 맞았어요. 딸이에요. 나 정말 견디기 힘들었어요. 의사 선생님 말로는 나 계속 당신만 찾았대. 진수 씨, 우리 딸 예쁘죠? 애기 이름은 당신이 원하는 대로 지은이라고 지었어요. Well, now that we're all crying. Oh my gosh. Well, that was an episode to end on. Oh my gosh. I love that. 
kitchen. I'm so sad. But we don't know how he died. And I'm so sad. Let's talk about Michael. <laughs> So, also, her just being like, Psh, yeah, there's an affair. <laughs> like, what the fuck? How do, yeah, how do we feel about Juliet just blurting that out? I mean, we know, do, do we feel like it outweighs itself, like, the fact that she was trying to protect Sun? Ultimately, we see that Sun does get off the island and her baby lives. I mean... It just wasn't very thought out. Like, I get what she was trying to do, but, like, what if Sun had lost Jin and lost the babe? Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, jeez, that's pretty... Yeah, that was... Do we, do we see that as... Do you think that was a selfless act or a selfish act? Mm. Was, she, was she doing it... I think it... Juliet thought she was being selfless. She thought she was being selfless. And it obviously worked out the right way, but I think... Mm. So the Oceanic Six. Let's do the count. Who is it? Sun, Jack, Hurley. Kate. Kate. Sun, Jack, Hurley, Kate. Sai. Well, there's another person who made it out and died, apparently. Because mm. of a funeral for them. So assuming that... And that could have been Jin, but then at the same time... There could just be graves for everyone that didn't make it, so it's like... I thought there was Jin another could have been the fifth, but maybe not. Are you sure there was another way to know? Sorry. What did Kate say to Jack when they had that conversation about you? mad that I'm here, right? I, I should get going. Yeah. He's going to be wondering where I am. Yeah, he's going to be wondering where I am. Which you think Sawyer, maybe, but... But none of that statement actually implies that that person was on... The oh, plane, so maybe. But it's four. Could be I thought we need Jen. one more. Sight. Jack Kate. So. Hurley. Hurley. Son. Sight. Who do we think the other two are? Sight. Mm -hmm. Sawyer, maybe. Jin, maybe. Juliet. Sight. Sawyer, maybe. Except... Sawyer's with Locke. Do we think anyone from Locke's camp is gonna... I mean, Hurley did. But Hurley's currently with Locke, That's so... That's true. Plus, the funeral, there's no one there for that. What the heck, Michael? And Michael. Kevin Johnson. Okay, let's talk about Kevin Johnson. What in the world? Who? Oh, yeah, Michael. So, yeah, that was... That dude, was crazy. The I acting was anything. so to the point where, like... Like, that character could have... <laughs> not been aware of like who those people were almost mm -hmm. like the way that they did it was so subtle that like I don't know it's like I couldn't tell if he was faking it or like he just didn't have any reaction at all on purpose which is like who Michael yeah he didn't react to seeing them it definitely was a hard hard to tell whether he was so he was hiding a reaction or he didn't really he really didn't know. Did a great job of not showing anything, which is pretty impressive for like the, the character. Mm -hmm. I would say yeah. so. That's weird. Because there's especially Michael. Michael's very emotional. He would have yeah, Michael's so. Emotional. He would have had a moment or something. Well, like clearly, he's. I mean, he's going by a different name. I don't. I mean, like. I can't even... What if he doesn't remember them for some reason? Because what happened? They, like, Michael and Walt went off in a boat. Yeah, but maybe, like, something happened to him and he doesn't remember. Because, like... Maybe he's got amnesia. They do that all the time in soap operas. Yeah. Or he, like, got hit with that weird time travel thing and that messed him up. I don't know. But Ben said, I have a man on their boat. Oh, but so oh, he did oh, send Michael. Michael. Help ben. He did send him know. off. I don't know. He sent him off in a boat. I don't think Michael would be a fan of Ben. Oh, I I wouldn't think so either. But what did Mike? What were Michael and Ben's last words? Do you remember? No. Well, Ben said, you know, I didn't like the arrangement that was made with you, but a deal is a deal. 
get in that boat, take that heading. And Michael said, what makes you think I won't tell people about this place? And he says, well, Ben says, well, after, if, if you tell them about this place, you'll have to tell them about the people, or what you did to the people to get out of here. So I think you're probably going to keep your mouth shut. It wasn't those words, but that's basically what he said. Mm. Like, if you tell people about this place, they're going to find out you killed two people. Right. And sacrificed your friends just to get a boat and your son back. I think you're going to keep your mouth shut. Because that was back in season two, two that we saw Michael Yeah, they were, they've been, he's been gone for a while. Wow. I wonder if they planned this from the get like that. I'm thing. just emotionally spent. Yeah, I mean, I lot. literally, he's the best character. It's not very often that you turn, you just went, I quit. <laughs> and curled I mean, into Jeremy. <laughs> that killed me. That one killed me. Who's the best character? Michael. Jin. No. Jin's one of the best. Yeah. I mean, Hurley. Especially after that alive, long though. scene of that him forgiving her. Him and forgiving her, the way he. Just he's so great. Admitted his own faults. Yeah. You cheated on you cheated then on it him. Comes, then it comes full circle how oh. you did hate him and then we've loved him for so long and we remember how much we loved him and now we don't even know how he dies. I remember back in season one when you guys absolutely hated Jen and you were shipping Michael and Son. That was the hardest death. I'm not <laughs> kidding. That was a really hard death. What a full circle episode for that now. That was a hard death. Seeing Michael again, yeah. I did not like it. Look at me. Did not like it. But we don't know, like... I don't know, the flash forwards are so detached from what's happening now. It's like... I don't know. I like them. Yeah, but like... Like, to me, that wasn't him dying. That was just like... In a, in one of the... A possible future, he's dead. But we don't even know what that future is, or like... like that is the future. Yeah, but like... With all this time travel stuff in here, too, it's like, who, I don't know, like, it's still up in the air to me. <laughs> That's so sweet. I don't know. <laughs> so sweet of you to think. There's like, it's the whole fantasy element now, so, you know, you never know. I'm but so, that was very powerful. I'm so sad that I'll never be glad. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am really sad. That was so sad. We're going to get some good sleep so that we can do a marathon tomorrow. Exo to Jin. No, that was very powerful. It was a very powerful, powerful episode. Very powerful. Bye. 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 just sang karaoke song together. We sang Elephant Love Medley from Moulin Rouge. And we come off stage and this girl comes over to me and she's like, you're a really good singer. I don't know why your nose is bleeding. Like I hope you've done a lot of coke tonight, but I just want you to know that you're a really good singer. And I was like, oh, it's, it's part of my costume, like str Stranger Things. And she was like, okay, well my boyfriend's a singer and he said you're a really good singer, so. Nose and she just kept staring at me like I was a drug addict. I was like, it's fake. Doing it. All right, whatever. I knew people weren't gonna get it.